Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the different speech patterns that I've observed in people who have different <laughs> perceiving axes. <laughs> Sorry, that was my cat. Um, okay, so the two speech pattern categories I see is synthetic and analytic. So synthesis and analysis. The synthetic speech pattern corresponds to people with SE and NI no matter the order. There is a sense that everything is coming together, or if it's not coming together, then different things are part of a whole. It's that implicit assumption. So for SE, I call that the exploratory speech pattern because there is a sense that people are exploring concrete examples off the top of their head. So for a question like, what do you think the world will be like in the future? They will list concrete things kind of off the top of their head and it's not very deep because it's extroverted. So same thing with NE, which we'll get into later. So they might list things like war, technology, and just list them one by one. Migration, pollution, yeah, you, you see how I'm doing it. It's kind of unnatural when I do it because I wrote down some notes, but yeah, they would just see these different things and they would list them. And they are all part of the whole of the topic idea. So the topic idea being what the world will be like. So generally we see these people, SE and I, staying on topic most of the time. So they'll keep talking about different concrete examples. They could actually say something that they've actually seen like, oh, currently there are more wars, or currently we're messing up the environment, so it kind of spirals out from there. So on the other side, we have NI, which I call the convergent speech pattern, because everything just converges into one idea, and it can also be deepening that one idea. So yeah, I call it the measured deepening of ideas. Yeah, a lot of times people say deepening, but they don't really say what they mean. So what I mean is that the idea tends to be going towards more global patterns, uh, global trends and implications. So they could say something quite vague, like things were getting worse in the last 100 years or last 200 years and things will probably continue to get worse. So something vague, general, but very comprehensive and global. Or they could, you know, they could of course say that things are getting better in the last few years and they will continue to get better. And they can have some exploratory speech as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the exploratory people could have some convergent speech as well. So it's part of the same axis. It's part of the same spectrum. So you'll have some exploratory and some convergent. But if you have high SE, you'll be more exploratory. And if you have high NI, you'll be more convergent, but you'll still have both. So they might say technology was getting better and people live longer, so generally things will be on the incline. So if they do have an idea, like say that technology is actually pushing us apart since we don't really communicate as much in person anymore, then they'll tend to bring in further implications of that, like how that will contribute to depression maybe, and it'll generally be a negative thing for humanity overall. And they could even bring in past examples or trends of things that were technologically advancing, however it made a net negative impact, like war and the technologies of war, for example. Okay, so moving on to the complete other side, which is the analytic speech pattern. This is the opposite of synthesis, it's analysis, where things are broken apart there's this implicit belief that things are separate and we can analyze each thing separately and each separate thing means something else. We don't have to conglomerate everything together. For SI, I call that the compartmental speech pattern because it reminds me of having different kinds of file cabinets in your head and each file cabinet is full of very specific information. Generally, every concrete example 
is measured and thought out. So it's actually deep in that sense that it's been previously considered. So they could talk about something like technology, but unlike the SE people, the exploratory people who bounce off to another thing immediately, they'll get deeper into that. So for example, people might say there could be flying cars or slimmer phones. They could even get into detail about how Tesla has self-driving cars kind of and that will just continue or phones have been getting smaller or sleeker and that will just continue so they can talk about the components of each thing so I'm not really familiar with that but they'll talk about the specific technology that allowed those things to happen so you can obviously see that they've thought about these things before and that they're quite knowledgeable about these things so that tends to be SI and this complements the NE divergent speech pattern, which likes to take those very specific details and because they're so specific, they can bounce off to something completely new. So they'll bounce off to a parallel idea that's not really a deepening or a globalization of the original topic, but it'll be a parallel or sometimes a relevant idea or a tangential idea. So because it's extroverted like SE, it's not really super deep. It tends to be superficial or on a surface level. You say something, you mention something off the top of your head and then you move on. You're not trying to fit the idea into some sort of internal system. So for example, if you're talking about technology, you could have the previous example that I said about it pushing people apart, but instead of talking about the greater implications like depression and the world becoming a bad place, we just stop at pushing people apart and then maybe SI will go into its file cabinet and find another specific sensory example like slimmer phones and then NE will come back and be like, oh, isn't it interesting how we like things to be smaller and smaller when previously at some point in time we like things bigger and bigger. Why is that? So that's a completely random topic. It's still conceptual because it's talking about why it's not really concrete. However, it's not really that related to the previous topic or the original topic other than by some tiny SI strings that's connecting things together. It's kind of difficult to find celebrity examples for these things because the speech pattern is something that you can only see if they're left to talk or discuss and think freely for a period of time. You can't really see it if people are prepared for an interview or if the interviewer constantly interrupts them with new topics. So if you would like to see examples of everyday people exhibiting these speech patterns, you can see them transcribed in my book as well as see videos of that on my online course. If you would like to get typed, I also offer a typing service on my website, Empirical Personality, as well. I'm really curious as to what you think about these speech patterns. Have you noticed them in yourself or your friends and family? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.